Hello and welcome back to the Autrix Weekly Challenge with me, Nick Bignall. This is challenge number 80. I can't believe we're on 80 already. Okay, so this is slowly changing dimensions. Uh, basically, we're looking at status updates and uh, an update coming in each day that we then have to incorporate into the main log of various individual statuses. I mean, they've chosen Star Wars as a theme, which is um, okay, but uh, this is uh, basically a data prep challenge so first of all we have uh, input in the current log so if we have a look at that we've got a bunch of names down here uh, what level they are they happen to be Jedi Knight level various different times the start date end date and then the current flag I is the current I guess that means of the red record current uh, when they complete level records or with an end date indicate either a promotion or a separation for that individual okay so uh, the input today's updates include the changes that will take effect today John Bob has joined the dark side so I guess he's leaving Caitlin and Richard have been promoted up the Jedi ranks and Joe has joined as joined in the Jedi knighthood create a workflow that produces an update list of the current Jedi ranks okay so in the updates we've got uh, Bob but all we've got is an end date to indicate that he's leaving and we've got Caitlin and Joe and Richard so Joe is entered as a Jedi youngling and Caitlin and Richard so I'm thinking first of all we need to replace the current or uh, look at the current records and see what we need to do to those based on the because yeah anything else isn't that so but let's get rid of the let's just filter out and then bring back together but filter out the nose I think to start with because we don't want to we're not interested in changing the the so if it equals yes we're not we'll then we're not don't want to change the ones that it's not current because it doesn't make sense we'll just keep leave them as legacy then we want to join in the new ones so if we bring in the, the updates and we join it on name okay that should give us it now if I change we don't need name again but we might want to cha change the level so new new start date and new end date okay that will give us run that that will give us the records where we've got a change was on the left side uh, so Debbie's not changing so she can go back into the log as such and what we've got on the right side we've got Joe joining okay so again he can go into the as a new completely new entity so that's fine what we're we missing from that just this current flag okay well let's take that in a minute and then we've got to deal with these okay so we know Bob is leaving because we've got this new end date so if we filter on yeah because if we look in here what we got Bob's not in there at all okay so we'll just say is not null uh, or it uh, is null because we want to keep the nulls so if the new end date is null okay I'll run that okay that just gives us the two that we need to change now this goes from Jedi master to Jedi Knight and Grandmaster or Jedi master to Grandmaster now all we want to do is basically take today's new start date that's a bit weird that's meant to be what's it as here so that's uh, Caitlin 16 okay so we want to let's have a look no 16 yeah so yeah so basically we want to take the start date and make it the end date now that happens to be the same anyway but I think we'll overwrite it because this shouldn't be in there Okay, so we can simply formula that and 
we want to take the start date and we want to use the sorry we want to take the end date gosh and we want to use the new start date for that okay and then we want another one which basically uh, converts the field this current flag to no longer active because we're going to overwrite it with a new one so current flag no simple as okay so we can then get rid of the additional fields the new ones and that gives us so now we have uh, these records updated they're no longer active these records updated well Debbie's left alone um, and then these ones which are the old ones now we have a choice here we've got Joe here but we need to add in the new ones anyway except for Bob so we can apply the same filter to that add in this current flag is Y and then union the whole lot together and let's copy that and we'll take that and we run that and then we want to oh, I do not like new date it doesn't it's end date we want to right yeah so now we're left with just the one the new fit records that we want to update and yeah red Joe is in there and Joe is in there so we'll just take this and then we'll copy that one and we'll change that to Y because these are the new fields and then we union the lot together okay so the first one we'll take is the the existing non ones will then take these ones so the other the new updated ones will then take Debbie who had had no change to hers and then these three here or these three here and bring them in let's run that that's going to be a disaster is it oh that seemed to work okay now we just need to sort it now we'll, how's this sorted so it looks like it's sorted by name and then start date ascending descending start date ascending descending okay so sort so name ascending then start date descending now. so you'll bring in a browse so we can compare the two ten records that's a good start in a slightly different order I don't know what the order is supposed to be is it these K M Y R Grandmaster. Oh, it's not that. It's it's their level ascending. Yep, that's the one. There you go. You could then write this back to this current log file so you just do an output which would go back to whatever file this is obviously text input but if it was a file on a drive somewhere thank you very much for watching see you again next time